All right, so update 16 has finally hit and we are here. We have a brand new dev blog out as well, so we can read through that and then play through the update for ourselves. So update 16 is called the virus update. So we knew this from Big Game's tweet that came out yesterday. Another thing that we got leaked yesterday from Big Game's Twitter was this UFO ultimate. So as you can see, it looks like it just does damage to the area, kind of like the nightmare ultimate, if anything. So nothing really new, but it's always a bonus to have something new in the game, I guess. But let's hop right into the juicy stuff. Of course, it looks like we have this brand new virus event. So we were definitely anticipating something like this because we got a ton of leaks about new chests and stuff like that. So it looks like the hacker world is being invaded. We need to defend against UFOs spawning virus chests. So break the chest and its orbs to protect it. This unveils the virus egg for 10 minutes. Take the portals in the hack world to fight the virus. All right, you guys. So this is going to be a huge game changer for sure, because I don't even know how this is going to work, that we have to destroy orbs around the chest and then destroy the chest itself. So I don't think we've ever had a thing where we've had to destroy orb. We're definitely going to have to wait and see until we get into game to see how this actually works. So I'm not even sure what kind of build you would need for this. All right. So the virus egg is the thing that spawns after you destroy the chest. The virus egg spawns. Spawning up to 100% increased huge chances. The new best pets are in this egg. Each chest uncovers the egg for 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but from the first reading of this, this event sounds like it absolutely sucks because you only get access to open this egg for 10 minutes. So even if it's a 100% chance to get the huge, only being able to open the egg for 10 minutes means it's gonna be very hard to actually get this huge. And it honestly doesn't seem like it's very AFKable at all. I guess it also depends on what the actual chances to get the huge from this egg are in general. Because potentially it could just be very easy to actually get it from the egg. So 100 times chance could be very big for all we know. But just from first glance, 10 minutes sounds like absolutely no time at all to even have a chance at getting this huge. So you can see this is what it's going to look like after you destroy the chest. So this could be up to a hundred times chance. All right, so I'm not going to make too many judgments before we actually hop in and try it for ourselves. But we also got three new pets from the virus egg. So we have the matrix monkey, virus griffin, and then the huge virus griffin. All right, so this looks pretty cool. I kind of like this huge. So we obviously got this one that we just talked about from the virus egg. And then we have the huge matrix monkey, which is going to be in the virus pack. Of course, we got a new pack for each week. So of course, we have the pay to win huge as well as the free to play huge. I'm just hoping that this week this free to play huge is a whole lot easier to get than last week's with the hacker chest all right and then they did add the new secret pet to the game so big games did a poll on their discord asking people which of the secret pets they would prefer next and the rainbow swirl secret pet actually did win so it looks like they added this to the game and i guess you can just get it from hatching any of the eggs it's just like super super rare so there should only be a few of these in existence and then oh this is actually really big we actually got some huge party pets all right so this actually sounds like a pretty big deal from the way this is worded, it sounds like these huges are only going to be available from whatever your best egg is during huge parties. So that's kind of cool. It's just like another incentive to play for those 12 hours that a huge party is going on. So we have the huge bison and then the huge punk ski. I don't know what I just said. The huge punk ski. Punk ski. Now, this is probably going to be the most important part of this update. This sounds absolutely crazy because we got a brand new huge machine egg. So if you guys didn't know already, the huge machine allows you to take exclusives in the game and then turn them into a huge egg. That gives you a chance at a whole bunch of huges. Now, prior to this, it was just all huges in the egg. There was just like one super rare huge, I believe was like 0.5% or something. But it looks like the huge machine egg actually gives you a chance at a Titanic, which is pretty crazy because that means this is like a free to play Titanic egg that we get. Big Games doesn't add things like this very often. So this is going to be something that's going to be in the game for the foreseeable future. So that's pretty cool. I'm imagining that exclusive pets are going to jump up in price like crazy because everybody's going to be using them to craft this egg and try to get the Titanic. So besides the Titanic butterfly, which is in this huge machine egg, we also have the huge mantis shrimp, huge mushroom raccoon, huge pixie fox, huge umbrella cat, huge vibrant 
who can. I honestly can't believe they put a Titanic in the huge machine egg. That's actually pretty crazy. Let's keep moving forward though so we can just look at all this stuff in game. So of course we got the virus pack. So, so inside the virus pack, you have a chance at getting the huge matrix monkey as well as the huge masked fox. Besides that, you can also get the UFO ultimate, the hacker booth, hacker hoverboard, and then the huge virus griffin, huge hacker axolotl, and more. So, so honestly, nothing very exciting. I guess some people will try to be opening this to get the UFO ultimate. But from the looks of it, it didn't look like it was that useful of an ultimate. So I guess we'll read in a second what it actually does. Right here, it says, call it an invasion of UFOs to annihilate breakables. The higher the level, the more UFOs that spawn and the stronger they are. So I guess this potentially could be a new better damage ultimate, but we'll have to see from this. Depending on how many people actually end up opening the virus pack is, I guess, how cheap this ultimate will be, because I think it's the only place you can get it from. And then next up, we have the hacker booth, so nothing too crazy. Of course, we got a new booth. Now, another very important thing, I don't know why they're doing this. I'm guessing they think if they take a break from the clan battles at all, then the player count would drop a lot because the clan battle is kind of carrying this update the past week. I'm not sure what anybody would be doing in the game if we didn't have a clan battle going on. I hope if they do this, they actually allow us to start kicking people from the clan. And if you guys want to join my clan, we have applications over on my Discord. So definitely join up and apply for that. We are definitely looking for people for this next battle. But if it turns out there is no break for the clan battle, then I'm not sure how we're going to ever have a chance to kick the people that aren't performing very well. So honestly, from the sound of this, I'm not sure how people are going to take this because I know a lot of people were burnt out from clan battles in the first place. So if we do a clan battle back to back, I could see a lot of people not participating in this one. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how people react. They potentially could reverse this for all we know. Let's go over some of these last little changes because sometimes these are actually the most important things about the update. All right, so I'm not going to read through all of these, but just some important ones. It seems like change trading so both players have to be ready if the trade is modified. See, I already thought that was a thing, so that definitely is a good change. Now, another thing it says here is changed huges to hatch from an egg if received through loot drops. So this is actually a really cool change, definitely something that should have been in the game originally, but what I think this means is if you are doing something that has a chance at dropping a huge, instead of just picking it up like it's a loot drop, it's gonna like spawn an egg that's gonna like rattle like an exclusive egg, and then the huge is gonna come out of that. So that makes more sense instead of just getting it as a random item drop. So that's really cool. You're definitely gonna be able to tell when you get a huge from a drop now. Definitely a good change from big games i like that a lot wow another thing they did is change superior chest mastery to be harder so hopefully all of you guys were able to get level 99 before they changed this that's actually pretty big change stars on exclusive pets and huges to new diamond stars so i'm not really sure what this means this might just be like an aesthetic change yeah and then everything else doesn't seem very important except for this it says they removed the seashell machine from the summer event so i'm not sure why they would just do this randomly in the game especially after we were getting a ton of seashells dropped from breakables i'm sure a lot of people are going to be really mad about this because they didn't warn anybody that this machine was going away so everybody probably hasn't went ahead and used those seashells or sold them so a lot of people probably lost a lot of value from this but honestly that's just a classic big games move of just not communicating at all and and then just doing something that messes up players so let's just hop right into the game and see how this update actually plays all right so we're here we're in a public lobby it looks like these are the portals to those chests so let's just hop right in and try to do this so it looks like i guess these are just all used already so let's just keep checking all right so as you can see wait i actually just got a hacker key from one of the orbs so maybe it's like a really high chance to get hacker keys from here Let's turn on Pets Follows Taps real quick, and then let's try to break these orbs really quickly. All right, so it just seems like you need a high damage build, and you're going to be able to absolutely destroy this stuff. The update just came out, and I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll probably have a video later on tonight with the best build for doing this at the moment. I'll do a ton of testing in the next few hours and figure that out and then let you guys know later on. But honestly, from first glance, this is my trading account, so I don't have that good of a setup on here and I'm pretty much destroying this chest. So it doesn't seem like you are gonna need a lot. So after destroying this one, it looks like this egg is just 
actually a normal egg. So I thought that when you destroy this virus chest, you're going to get a two to hundred X egg, no matter what, but it looks like you can just get a regular one X egg as well. So that kind of sucks. Let's just leave this account AFK and then let's hop onto one of my grinding accounts and then try this hacker event out for that. All right, so we loaded in. Let's actually really quickly check that huge machine egg. This could actually be pretty big. All right, so if we click on this, we can see what the actual odds to get this Titanic are. And it looks like it's a 0.25% chance to get a Titanic from this huge machine egg. So that actually seems like it's a very high chance. I'm surprised Big Games did this at all. Essentially what this means, you guys, is on average, it should take you about 400 of these huge machine eggs to get the Titanic butterfly. That seems like super high odds. Don't get me wrong, it's still gonna be extremely hard to get this Titanic, but a one in 400 chance actually seems pretty decent. I don't think there's gonna be a world where it's gonna be profitable to try to open this Titanic, but this is for sure gonna change the way things are priced in the game because at the current moment, nobody really uses exclusive pets as much as they did in the past. They are kind of obsolete for loadout builds just because there are so many huges in the game and stuff like that. So I'm guessing that this change makes exclusive pets absolutely skyrocket as people want to use them to make this new egg and try to get the Titanic. I actually have a ton of exclusive pets on my other account, so this is going to be really good. Maybe we'll open a couple of them for this video for you guys and try to get that Titanic. But anyways, let's move on. Let's go try to grind this new hacker world and get a 100x egg. So I definitely suggest getting a private server for this update because you're going to save yourself a lot of time. So I'd make sure with this update that you use pets follows taps so you can absolutely destroy each of these individually from first testing it looks like this orbs build is not good at all because the orbs just go to the first area anyways so let me try out a different build here so just from playing around with grinding this it seems like raw damage is going to be your best friend with builds like this i can already say from first experience grinding this chest it seems absolutely annoying to grind this. It's like super hard to click some of the eggs on the outside because of these random trees that are here. It also looks like you can't use your ultimates over here as well. Let's see if you can place any chests. So let's just put down like some shiny flags. So apparently not. You can't use shiny flags. Now for some reason on this account where I have much better pets and enchants, it seems like I'm doing a lot less damage to this chest. So I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it's just because we were grinding it on a public server and there was multiple people hitting it, but it doesn't seem like it's doing all that much. But as you can see, guys, we got a ton of hacker keys from that chest. So it definitely looks like this is going to be the meta for getting keys now. And then we also got this three times huge chance egg. Let's just keep going around and grind all of these chests. All right. So I guess I take back what I said. It looks like you can't grind in each of the areas. I thought you would get access to destroy four chests because all four areas have a portal. So I guess you have to wait till the egg goes away to be able to break another chest. So let's hop back on our other account and try this again. All right, so we're back on the public server on our trading account to grind this chest. All right, so from that chest, we only got one hacker key. So it seems like we get a lot less on this account that doesn't have super drops. Actually, what is this? Plus one boost. Oh, wait, that's actually a really cool feature. I didn't even notice this. So if you press the little minus, it like condenses them all into this little thing. So it doesn't block anything else in the game. That's actually a very smart feature from big games. Now, I'm not sure why it just doesn't hide everything. So this is actually a really good idea for people who just want their boosts all like condensed like this. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to continue doing some testing while grinding these outside chests so I can make that video for you tonight on the best build. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this update. It honestly seems kind of questionable to me at the moment, but I don't want to make any judgments too quickly. So let me know what you guys think for yourselves down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for that video later on on the best build for destroying the virus chest. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.